Hello everyone, my name's Alex and today we're going to do a bit of an unboxing. Now this is my first ever unboxing and it's a big one. It's a special one. It's a Marty McFly from Back to the Future cosplay. Now before we get into the actual unboxing, I have a pair of Nike Cortez shoes. Now I'm fully aware that they're not the originals that were worn by Michael J. Fox in the film, but please feel free to comment below if you know what film made these shoes famous. Anyway, let's get on with the unboxing. Let's move little Marty to one side. Now this package was sent to me um, as part of an, au an eBay auction I purchased uh, a little over a week ago um, by a wonderful and very responsive eBay seller by the name of Chick and collectibles. They've got some other stuff on their site. I believe they've got one of the screen news t-shirts from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So check them out. But anyway, let's try and get in to the box. Right. Oh. Forgot to mention as well, I do have the appropriate attire on. So first things in the box, we have a pair of jeans. So, these are a light wash jean, worn by Michael J. Fox. Uh, these aren't the screen accurate ones, again. Um, there is a wonderful replica prop forums out there where they will point you in the right direction if you want to be 100% accurate. If that is the case, you're probably gonna wanna save up a couple of thousand because some things are very rare to come by. But we have a pair of jeans. And it's all lovely packaged as well. So, we'll start with the first. We have a maroon plum under t-shirt. This is obviously worn underneath the short sleeve shirt that Marcy does sport in the film. Now, I have been informed by the eBay seller that this short sleeve shirt is exactly the same make and model that was worn by Michael J. Fox in the film. It is a brand called Sahar Safari. Again, very rare to come by. But if you can find one, your quid's in. So this is the exact short sleeve shirt worn by Mark. Michael J. Fox, can't get my words out. Um, same brand, uh, buttons are accurate. Um, they did do a rerun a few years ago for the 30th anniversary back in 2015, because obviously he did travel to 2015 in the second film. So we've got the short sleeve shirt, that's the same make and model. Now again, this is the jean jacket worn over the top of the short sleeve shirt. Now, I've been informed by uh, Chicken Collectibles again that this isn't a like for like, but it's the best replica you can get on the market. By a company called Headguni. They're based in Japan. They are still regularly available, but they do run quite pricey. If money's not an option, definitely check them out. Um, we've also got the accurate badges got the accurate badges on the jean jacket as well i'll be putting all of this on later as well so you can get a good idea of what it all looks on or you can just have a look at marty fun so now again lovely lovely packaging i'm blown away with what i've opened so far and obviously we've got the iconic Puffer vest. It speaks a thousand words. <laughs> you can't, I, I really am lost for words. Um, it's been a long time coming that I've always wanted uh, a Martin McFly outfit and I've wanted one to be as close to the film as possible. Although you can make create Marty with any budget. You really can. Um, Cause Amazon is a great option if you're working on a budget and you know, you're instantly recognizable, recognized rather um, with the red puffer vest. 
and a jean jacket. People are going to instantly know who you are. Lovely. So that's as far as we've got in terms of clothing. So wonderful. I, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked with what's been sent. Um, but that's not where we finish. Luckily, we've got another little box inside. Um, again, in the description, it was made known to me and throughout the, the, the pictures of what's inside the box. It's a few little props and bits and pieces just to take your Marty cosplay to that next level. Um, you've got loads of other bits and pieces in here. So, what's Marty without his music? You know, we've got a pair of headphones and we've got a Walkman as well. Now, I've, I've, as I can see, you know, I've not opened this just yet. It is the same as the film. Wonderful. Um, I've not purchased a tape yet, um, but I will be buying the Back to the Future soundtrack to play in here when I walk the convention floor or potentially meet and greets with other bits and pieces. Um, coming August this year, I'm actually attending the Camberley Car Show, where I'm hoping they're going to be bringing a DeLorean, uh, where I will be donning this complete outfit. I'm excited to wear it all together. I'm hoping there's the DeLorean there. Just hopefully Doc can come back to the future. So, fingers crossed. So there's that. We then also have Martin McFly's wallet. Now, inside the wallet, there are, I, it, it, it again, <laughs> it's brilliant. It really is. There are, there's, there's um, you've got Doc Brown's driver's license. We've got a Cusco card. Um, as a, a cinema ticket and then you, we've got Marty's school um, ID, go Bulldogs, <laughs> um, social security number and then we've got Doc Brown's um, Enterprises card as well so if any of your flux capacitors have uh, broken I can uh, put the details in the comment section below so you can all get them checked out. Um, then we also have the drawing of the flux capacitor. So when uh, Doc fell and hit his head and that came to him in a dream, it's pretty accurate as to what he came up with. Uh, wonderful. And there's other bits in here as well. So I think we've got a love we've got a little you know hallway pass as well, tardy slip. I was late again, sorry Strickland. You know, I'm a slacker, I get it. Um, yeah, and then we've got the auditions for Battle of the Bands. Absolutely. I'm not allowed to take part. I was too noisy, apparently. But yeah, enough said about that. And then again, just to finish off bits and pieces, of course, braces. Got to have those braces. Um, again, another item that is exactly the same as the film is the Casio calculator watch, worn precisely by Michael J. Fox in the film. And then we have a pair of sunglasses. Again, same make and model aviators. I'm not 100% sure on all the make and models for this. If I can find them out, I'm sure we'll be able to include them. But we will throw a link below to the replica prop forum where they list beautifully all the list of the screen worn items as well. And then not forgetting the final piece to the costume are some family photos and different stages. So that's, you know, they're slowly disappearing. You know, we're just hoping that old mum and dad, George and Lorraine, make that kiss at the dance and uh, me and my brother and sister can stay alive and still be born. But um, that's it in terms of the unboxing. I'm going to go throw all this on and we'll see how we look. Whoa, that's heavy, Dark. Lost for words. I mean, as you can see, I'm all geared up. Um, very, very much lost for words. Chicken collectibles, I can't thank you enough um, for sending this to me. Yes, I did pay for it. It's not a collab. Um, I'm ecstatic. I really am. In a sense, <laughs> all the components fit absolutely perfectly. Um, 
it was meant to be, clearly. Uh, down to the undershirt, the, the, the shirt itself by Sahar Safar, as I mentioned earlier. The jean jacket as well, with the buttons. It just, it's the small details that really do make it. You know, we've got the air guitar, you've got the Art and Revolution badge. Again, I was watching a video on TikTok the other day. Nobody really knows what this is. So if you're one of the very few, again, that do happen to know what this is, let us know. Could you be the one to solve a mystery from 1985? Again, nobody has ever been able to solve what this is. It looks like a boomerang. It could well be. Um, the jacket, beautifully made by Head Goonie, as mentioned. Puffer jacket. I'm, I'm, I'm out of words. I'm out of breath because <laughs> I'm mean, blown away. Absolute blown away. Um, well, I'm going to go join the dock in the DeLorean. We're going to go to the year 2025 and I'll let you know how I get on. It's been a pleasure, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. More unboxings to come. Like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Hello, it's me, Boris Johnson, and I'm about to go back to the future. This is my new attire. So, what do the people of Britain think? Ah, Boris McFly. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. <laughs> <laughs>